it is your girl just spring i'm coming at you with a video um from the lipstick adding the good old lipstick alley so i'm reading some of their comments about your girl Santa Ray. um so here we go let's have a little fun here Someone says, I just read some of it. Oh, what are they talking about? Oh, let me see. Okay, this person says, I haven't been paying much attention to Sansa Ray. I see she is now lying on her mom's former friend. Sansa Ray claims the friend lost custody. Blah, blah, blah. The whole thing. And then someone said, I just read some of it, but it's far too long, as all her text posts always are. She could sum up her position in a handful of sentences. Yes, she decides to ramble because she believes her thoughts and opinions are, rarely, are really so valuable and interesting that she needs to share all of them and that everyone cares enough to sit for long enough to read her drawn out crap. She loves to hear herself speak too, which is why she rambles on her live streams. She's a pure narcissist, like the video said. Then someone says she's also retarded. Uh -huh. Then someone else says she is loving the attention that those filters are getting her on TikTok. <laughs> that was funny when I first read it, especially when I first read it. Someone says she is tapping into those old school Angel Ramirez Jordan feelings. She stalks this TikTok guy for sure. It was the one guy that she posted. Um, I don't know. He said something. Someone said he is cute. Uh, someone asked, do y'all rock with the new channel? Um, then she makes this post looking like, um, I don't know what she looked like. Some old half Asian, half dark Vader looking something. The self-confidence is about how you love yourself. No one can measure your worth. What they think of you should not be your concern. Just be the best you can be. Be all that you can be. <laughs> Sounds right. So it says, Sansa is now living deep into her fantasy world. She says she's wealthy. A man that wants to date her and take care of her son must make twice, oh, me. twice what she makes. She's discussing how some man is desperately begging to support her in justice. Yeah, right. Someone said her face looks so weird. It's like a cone. Um, then this person says the dude in her chat, the dudes in her chat were eating her up. She erased most of those comments. Of course she does. This person says her retarded ass has no structure for most of her recent audio-based streams. The three to four people who show up interject the comment actually keep the ball rolling. She pins the comments on the screen before she deletes them, but not before responding to them like a bitter broken record. Retro signaling to priests. The LSA thread lends Sansa Ray her last ounce of notoriety. Everyone in this space saw through her hyperbolic rhetoric years ago, at a time when others had to be convinced. But now most people who discover her see it out the gate. Social media and self-promoting tactics are evolving and she gets well below the curve. Having conversations in real time with people who challenge your ideology is a monumental tool to gather an audience and sharpen your debate skills. Ha! Very good. Very good. Um, um, can't think of a word. There are plenty of successful people on social media who have nothing to offer, nothing to validate their proposed purpose on insight. She can't even become one of the... <laughs> You would think that while dedicating her recent talking points to false Kevin Samuels, that she would actually liaise with a real image consultant and her publicist to tailor her brand. Moreover, by listening to her content, you wouldn't even know she is a mother, let alone a high-end mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me, she's trying to get Kevin's attention and hoping he will respond to her. Little does she know that if he does, he's going to tear her ass up. <laughs> Don't let the manosphere get to her. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a she's 
Spencer is excited that people responded to one of her videos on TikTok. Spencer's response to their responses was again meandering. The worst thing about her videos is they're so boring. Let me see something real quick. Let's see. She changes to fit her audience. She'll switch up when it suits her. You get more consistency from a weather, from a weather vein. <laughs> She's a grifter. She supports any idea that gets her views. One minute she tells women that trying to date men for money is bum shit and not realistic. The next she's talking about her financial standards and how the men she dates must be wealthy. She isn't getting views because people see through it. Whatever gets her channel attention, that's the opinion she'll claim. Apparently, she thinks she's successful on TikTok these days. It won't last. They'll figure out who and what she is, too. She's a ball of lies and contradictions. She just hates hypergamy but encourages the sugar baby lifestyle. Make it make sense. Somebody said, yeah, it's confusing. And <laughs> I don't confuse easy. <laughs> Somebody said I had to look up the word grifter. That is exactly what she is. <laughs> this person says, though she has been gaining followers on TikTok, my understanding is that it's nowhere near as lucrative as YouTube is. So she's continuing to waste time while she could be earning more on a regular channel. Um, <laughs> she doesn't like hypergamy because it reminds her she's been fucking bums with nothing to show for it her whole life. <laughs> Somebody posted a video of a home um of a show on Dr. Phil called Homeless Man Pretends to Live. I think it's a, it's I saw this episode, something about living a luxury lifestyle. He posts all these videos to pretend like he's something he's not. Anyway, um, let's see. Sasha Ray tells one of her infamous, story, infamous stories starting at the twenty uh, at the twenty nine minute mark. Once again, some man wanted to wife her and praised her for cooking tacos and cleaning up after herself. He told her to move into his new town home. She brought. So she brought a plastic tub of things. What? That very night, he ended up beating her in the parking lot of a club. Oh, Lord. Princess, pillow princess, price tag. Like, I used to think men were kings. I used to be like the typical teenager who wanted to be married so bad. And I felt like I was just deep into, like, patriarchy and misogyny. Oh, wait, let's go to the 29 mark. Yeah, hold on. Sorry. All right. Man, especially athletes. I remember one time. And it's she remembers. I'm about to show the story, and it's like relative to what I'm saying because somebody just texted me today and said, Oh my God, you alive. <laughs> I was like, Yes, I'm alive. Like, I can't believe it. But he saved my life. The guy that texted me today and said, oh, my God, you're alive. He saved my life about four years ago. Four or five years ago. It had been five years ago. And, and I went on a date with the Atlanta Falcons, right? And he took me to oh, this God. bar called Dugan's on Memorial Drive. Anybody that's in Atlanta, you know Dugan's on Memorial Drive. I love Dugan's, right? <laughs> like, one of my favorite places. So, it's not like popping. All right, I'm not going to uh, make y'all suffer. Because Lord knows I'm suffering. Okay, so, somebody says, Sasha is definitely slow. The stories are embellished. She adds the stuff about the men praising her cooking. I watched her cooking video. She's terrible. And wanting her to lie, live with them. These are men that she was having sex with and she tried to force it to be more. He probably hit her because she wouldn't leave. I will say Lloyd denied her ever, denied ever hitting Sansa Ray. 
She is a major liar, so she might be making up these stories of abuse. This person says, now Sasha Ray must be blind as well as delusional with her photo body, her Photoshop body. But how did she miss the five o'clock shadow? <laughs> she better not claim she is trans next. Also, wherever she is, looks cold, stale, and owned by someone else. Those doors, handles, hinges, slow closing door hinges, the door handles and designs looks very extended stay dorm room. But it isn't a residence wherever she pretends to live. Oh, they're talking about that, <laughs> that picture with her, um, with the, uh, red top and the yellow skirt. That little hot mess of Alf. <laughs> Somebody said, nope, doesn't even matter what she changes. It still will always be equivalent to sewer scum. And then this person circled her face and said she has a beard. She needs to, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So this person is responding about a video um, saying at the 43 mark, she says she moved that at least 25 times while she was away, a.k.a. pretending to be dead. As people kept sending police to do welfare checks to check if she was really dead. So instead of announcing she was fine and in fact not dead, which would have taken under a minute, she actually moved herself and her family from house to house at least 25 times. <laughs> In what way does that make sense? She is so full of it. Sansa Ray says people are calling her Mrs. Kim Kevin Samuels. She's happily embracing the moniker. Let's see what this video says. Oh, Hold on, yeah. Oh no!